I've noticed I found a sensational amount of fulfillment mm. when I undergo a project. Mm -hmm. When I have a journey yes. to look forward to that I think is fun. Finish lines are great. Dude. They keep you going. Goals. Being goal oriented. Like. It just, it fuels you. Fuels me. If somebody were to ask me to uh, start running and my goal was to like wake up and run every day, to me that's hard. Like, oh, do a marathon? Oh, there's a finish line. There's a pitcher. There's a yeah, medal. Yeah. Like, there's a date. Yeah. Like, I magically get way more done when there's that than, like, oh, just wake up and, like, do a little something every day. Mm. Like, that's hard to me. Mm. So, what you're talking about, 100%. Having a project, something. Yeah. Something where you can look look at the finish line and, and truly visualize it. Exactly. I wonder if there's even, like, a business and being able to... Someone could probably do this, like an artist. Mm. Pay attention, folks. <laughs> Here's a business idea. Someone could make a business where uh, anyone writes in what their goals are, mm -hmm. what their dream is, and an artist sketches them having accomplished that goal. Mm -hmm. Hand raised on the top of the wrestling podium, public speaking in front of 30,000 people, That's crazy. Uh, getting your million subscriber plaque on YouTube. Almost That's like, a, almost like a, a visual representation of what your quantum book is. How cool, how cool would that That's be? That's amazing. How cool that. would that help be? Wow, visualize. I'm on. If I, could, <laughs> if I could draw, if I could sketch, I'd swear to God I'd do you, that. Why don't you try You know what? Because uh, it, it has to be. Please, no, let me tell Please, I need to see what I look like doing like a motivational speaking for a stadium. You have to draw that. Fellas, fellas. Someone will draw it. That's so easy. Can I set that up as a business? I would love for that. How, I, how awesome is that? I have a company called Dreamer that I've been working on mm. for years. And it's an app to connect people with their dreams. When you share the same dream with somebody, there's a bond <gasps> unlike anything yeah. else. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And for, remember how we talk about that abracadabra. When you speak. And what do, what do most people say? Oh, 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 and I believe the devil made this phrase up. And it's taught to us as kids. Don't tell anybody. You're going to jinx it. I swear that's devil talk. What do I have when I have a dream? I declare that dream and I tell everybody. And then the magic starts flowing in a magical way and in a literal way. Because when you meet somebody who has the same dream as you, there's a bond unlike anything else. And when you're honest and you're vulnerable about the stuff that you're struggling with, people are like, I'm a help. But if you never spoke. So that's why I created Dreamer. Dreamer is an app that connects people based on the dreams. And then the future versions are where, oh, like let's crowdfund based on like this honest and vulnerability. Because a lot of times when people have dreams, it's very vulnerable. Sure. It's like at me at 300 pounds, my dream is to become an athlete, but like I don't know how to lose weight. And then somebody steps up like, boom, I got you as your trainer. Boom, I got you here. Boom, I got you there. So I'm creating that social media platform, that ecosystem, that dream ecosystem. I love that. And it just went live. So think about the feature we could put in there where people could do those dreams to where we could paint that finish line. I want to do it, bro. I want that to be a part of Dreamer. I want to help when somebody has a dream and it's declared for us to help them visualize the finish line. Do it. it. You got my I want to do it. Yeah, yeah, that's awesome. That's awesome. And I'd be willing to bet the crazier the dream, the stronger the bond. Oh, you know what I'm saying? God, absolutely. What, what crazy, you just, crazier the dream. Yes. What you just said about people being scared to jinx uh, and that, you know, uh, makes them reluctant to manifest. Mm -hmm. I can relate to that a lot. Mm -hmm. I, I've, I've had so many times where I knew before walking on stage, before putting out a new piece of work, I should be visualizing a success. Mm -hmm. And I've always been very scared to do that. Mm. It, it creates a fear inside of me that I am... Well, because now there's an expectation. Right. And if you fall short, that's scary. Right. Or that and, and also, to, to his point, I've always felt, you know, that uh, you're going to jinx it. You're mm -hmm. going to jinx it or mm. like, or like, you know... I, you know, I'll, I'll get vulnerable for a second. I've always had an issue in my life uh, where I feel that people are innately against me. Mm -hmm. It's a, it's a thing I've struggled with since I was a kid. It's a self, you know, doubt. It's a, it's a, it's, a, it's an issue that I have to continue to work on. Mm -hmm. And so sometimes I feel like when I speak something out about something that I really hope is going to happen, mm -hmm. people are going to know that that's what I'm trying to do, and mm -hmm. they're going to start to work against me. Mm -hmm. It's a terrible fucking attitude. It's a, you know, it's a part of a mental illness, that's you know, deep, but. Yeah. And I'm and I'm I'm speaking about it today, but sometimes I feel like that. Like, yo, if I start talking about something that I want to do, mm. somebody an an enemy, somebody out there that doesn't like me might start working against me. You so, know what I'm saying? So there's this there's this book that my friend Chris, who's here, Chris Adams, he's the CEO of Dreamer. He told gave me this book that was written by a Russian scientist. 
named Vadim Zilin, and it's called Reality Transurfing. And you got to actually appreciate that. And y'all both know this. When somebody starts working against you, there's this concept called pendulums. And this is how life works. It's like Donald Trump or Kanye West, right? When somebody dislikes it, they're actually feeding the pendulum. That is the only way to break a pendulum is to ignore somebody. But when somebody is feeding your pendulum, it's actually creating all this stuff in the universe that's helping you, even though it's against you. Right. So you should celebrate it. It's like you're feeding me the energy. Like I do this thing um, every on my tour where every uh, city we go to, we do an opening ceremony. We all write our dreams and we put them in these balloons. And we send our dreams up into the universe, right? And then the balloon mafia comes attacking, <laughs> right? And they're like, oh, like, uh, you're killing the planet. And I'm like, these are biodegradable. They're like, biodegradable balloons take six months to biodegrade. And I'm like, banana peels take two years. Leave me alone, balloon mafia. <laughs> but I told Chris, I was like, Chris, I like that they're attacking it because I know how the universe works. They're feeding my pendulum. Uh, and it's like a celebration moment. It's like, it doesn't bother me. I'm actually, I know how it works. So it's like, bring it on, Balloon Mafia. Bring it on. No press is bad press. The law of attraction here right. is no negatives. No. That's right, no right, right. So anytime someone says, no, you can't get on stage and have a successful performance, you, that's when you... Go on stage. and have an awesome performance. We, yeah. we look at it, or at least I look at it the same way as, as you do. You call it a pendulum. We sometimes call it a tennis match. Okay. If somebody hits you a ball of negativity, mm -hmm. whether it be they don't like something you did or you're going to fail, the only way that could possibly come to fruition or that, that conversation could keep going is mm -hmm. if you hit the ball back. If you let that ball just keep going and you that mm -hmm. negative comment goes right past you and ends up over there, game stops. Don't play. Don't, don't play the don't, game. Don't play. And, and all the negative comments, the only time the negative comments really affect me or any kind of person working against me affects me is when I have a conversation with that person. Yeah. When I do not get affected by yeah. negativity of others, the game stops and yes. the real game starts, which is winning. Exactly. 100%. There's, hey, a, there's a level of like enlightenment that, that comes with that. Mm -hmm. Like really, truly being able to tune every, everyone out when uh, you need to. I learned it from two chains. I, I wish I knew that he was a master like a guru master oh, sensei. Oh, he's so smart, dude. I didn't, like I worked with him for 10 years and I, I, I didn't realize he was such a master sensei until I went around the world and learned from master senseis and all the stuff <laughs> they talk about are stuff that he does. Damn. And I'm like, oh, I wish I asked more questions because to me, he was an artist I worked with and managed. But oh my God, I would sit there and watch him scroll past and never be affected i would never see him get into any drama not one beef and even though things would irritate he's human but he was so mm, zen and it's like it's like man I, I wish people only knew how special like that man was does he have master's degrees like he's like a he's like a smart dude like he has a, a college super... degree um in psychology <sighs> right he did right, graduate right. Yeah. yeah he's i've always heard from people that have been around him that he is like very well spoken very smart we, we, we obviously saw the news remember when he did the news show where he battled the oh, he, what was it the nancy lady? grace he destroyed her <laughs> destroyed her <laughs> yeah. was it on marijuana is that what the conversation yeah. was about yeah. what was a uh what was a guru moment that you remember with him Oh man! Any come to mind? Everything, man. Like uh, artists. Artists are like this. Artists are artists are like seriously magical people. Uh, most artists I meet have yeah. have tidbits of of wisdom that you can. It's almost contagious. Like just being in their presence, yes. you can it's, you can feel it. The ones that last are the true magical. Yeah. It's like you. Like you're so quantum, bro. It's you're scary. Just, you're just saying that. No, I swear to God. <laughs> you don't like, even know me. I, I wake up at noon. I drink a coffee. I go on so, a podcast. So <laughs> you're, you're so on. <laughs> Two chains. Like he, we would sit in the studio and he would be like, Charlie, you know, I got superpowers. I'm like, what you talking about? I like roll my eyes. And I didn't know about quantum. I didn't know about all this stuff. And I don't think he did, but he intrinsically knew. Sure. And he would be like, yeah, I could think of something and it'll come, boom. And then he would be like, watch this. And he would do it. And I'd like half be in amazement, half roll my eyes at him. But then, like I said, once I went and learned from all the gurus, I'm like, this man is one of the most magical wizards. And he's kind of looks like a wizard. Like he's yeah. a wizard. And that's why I would never like doubt these people who are so proven for so long. Like, oh, watch what they do.